garage store is specialized in the new Nissan March. Just kidding. Actually, they will turn their hand to almost anything, though they are best known for their GDRs. When we visited, all of their project cars were under wraps or in pieces, but there was still plenty to see. Up on the hoist is their next drag GDR, still a long way from completion. The customer cars are serious too, like this JZA70 Super running a T88 Turbo. The office may be small, but it's filled to the brim with parts, including engine parts, so you don't need to wait for your order to come in, even if you need an HKS GDR crank and pistons. The car that's closest to being finished is this S14 street drag car. It's one of the very few 9 second Sylvias in Japan, which is more impressive when you see it still uses an SR20 engine. Apart from the intercooler, it seems quite normal on the outside, but the engine is something else. It uses a Trust td 6 20G turbo and another one. Yep, a twin turbo setup that will support 900 horsepower on a GDR strapped to the side of an SR20. Saris claims 750 horsepower on the 2.2 liter SR, so the oil cooler is mounted front and center. The injectors are 1000 cc per minute HKS items with a matching rail. The Gretti manifold is modified injector bases to suit with a 90 millimeter infinity throttle. At the back of the engine there's a shock absorber to save the engine mounts, while underneath there's another interesting feature. This big windage tray is essential for oil control on a very high revving engine, while Tang coilovers provide plenty of tunability for maximizing traction. The two turbos share a 60 mm external wastegate. The rear end uses Nitto tires, of course, with Cusco upper links and all solid bushes in the cradle. This Quaif gearbox from Trust is the next major upgrade, which will hopefully get the car deeper into the nines. A completely different style of car was parked outside. This NSX has been set up for weekend circuit racing, concentrating on the chassis setup rather than outright power. This includes the brake package with huge discs and four piston AP calipers front and rear. The wheels are 18s at the front and 19 inch at the rear. The hood has a big vent with a carbon fiber vein to draw more air through the radiator, while an adjustable rear wing gives the best balance between drag and downforce. A lip spoiler underneath also reduces drag. The rest of the body kit is all functional, but subtle enough not to spoil the look of the car. That also goes for the carbon fiber under tray and twin exhaust. The engine has relatively mild modifications, like the air filter, headers, and a retuned computer. Truss oil coolers are also flush mounted in each of the side air intakes. 
Though it only makes around 350 horsepower, the car has lapped Sakuba in 1 minute and 2 seconds in the hands of a pro driver. Chassis improvements like the Tane coilovers and ARC titanium braces play a big part. The interior shows a similar approach, with racing parts like the stack instrument set, detachable Nardi wheel, Recaro race seats, and Takata harnesses still not spoiling its appearance. There's also a brake bias adjuster beside the seat. Altogether, a very desirable alternative to any Ferrari.